Hello! Today we're going to go ahead and show you the steps we use to prepare and prep a grandfather clock for moving. These will be simple steps, followed by explanations that will be easy to follow and understand. Thank you, and enjoy! So, the first step we have decided to do is go ahead and grab those weights off the chains within the grandfather clock. Now it's imperative that you do not grab these weights with your hands. More often than not, they are made out of metal, and if you grab them with your hands, the oil on your hands will transfer onto the metal, and it will stain and show up whenever it shines. This is something we do not want to do, so make sure you grab the weights with gloves, paper, anything that you can um, have to get space between your hands and that metal. Now once you have it in your hands, you're going to want to set it down on a safe spot. You've probably already made space for this, of course, but you're going to want to set it down in a safe place. What we have here is cardboard and paper. We're not risking it rolling around or getting dented or scratched. And what we do is we go ahead and bring both sides of the paper inward and then roll it together. This is the most secure method we find of keeping it tightly packed and having some kind of defense against other objects rolling around and tapping it. Because if it gets a dent, that will also show up if it shines in the light, just as the oil will. It is imperative that we do not allow this to happen. So, we also have a box here. This is where we have packed them away, kept them all in the same place so we know where they all are, but we also have packed it with cushioning. We use paper and plastic, but you of course can use packing peanuts or a bubble wrap, whichever you prefer. Next comes the pendulum, of course. This is the heaviest and largest object. This is also the most visible object within the clock. You should treat this with great care no matter what. We do the same process here of grabbing it with paper because this is still metal and your hand will still transfer oil onto it. We lay it down safely, we then move it at a slight angle to make sure it's fully on the paper and we can completely wrap it. You want to take a couple sheets, maybe even a little bit more than you did with the other weights as this is the most visible and important object to the grandfather clock. We're going to go ahead and just wrap those pieces as tightly as we can, get it underneath and in between the metal and the paper, that way it's tightening itself. You got to make sure it's really packed in there and we're going to do this a couple more times just to make sure it's completely secure and there is no visible metal that someone can accidentally touch and transfer oil onto. This is also important because again it provides cushioning for when we package it to make sure it doesn't have a dent on it. Now of course the pendulum won't fit in the same box as the weights unless you have a very big box which of course is not recommended. We don't want to leave any space for this object to move around and accidentally bump into something else. So what we do here is we take a flat piece of cardboard and we're going to go ahead and make our own box a sort of secured shell around the pendulum for its own purposes. Now of course we're sandwiching it in there, we're making sure it's as tight as possible but not making sure it's too tight so we don't accidentally dent it while pushing it together and closing the box. The next step we use to secure this pendulum even more is of course to make the box perfectly shaped to it. So of course, instead of just folding and taping it over, we want to score the edges, cut off all that excess cardboard to achieve essentially a box fit for the pendulum. We don't want to leave any space or as little as possible for this pendulum to move even if it is wrapped in paper. If we do that, then we are giving us even a better chance of not having it dent or bent within its container. So once we have all the edges cut off, we're going to go ahead and tape the box, securely wrap it around. We go over, under, over, under a couple times, of course, because um, again, this is sort of just a sandwich of cardboard for this box, perfectly fit to the pendulum. This, of course, again, is to achieve the most security we can get for this pendulum because it is the most visible object in this grandfather clock. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab the chains with newsprint, paper, bubble wrap, your choice. But it's important that we keep these chains together and we're going to go ahead and bundle them up. Now, this, of course, is to protect the glass of the door and the outside of the grandfather clock from any potential damages while moving. This can include scratching, even cracking. Now this, of course, is something we do not want to achieve at all costs. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it in paper right here. And then we're going to go ahead and bundle up, make sure it's tight. And then take the top part and tape it around a few times. Get that tension in there so it holds itself together. And the paper there is also going to cushion. If it still does move around, it's not going to damage the glass. We're also going to go ahead and place the box with the pendulum with inside the clock. That way we know it's there and secure and it's in the same place where it's going to go whenever it's put back together. What we're doing here is we are essentially securing the glass for the move. 
Now, of course, we all know that whenever you move something, there's always a risk. And right here, we are trying to plan for that risk as best as we can. For a grandfather clock, this may include what we're doing here, which is making an X with tape over the glass. Now, the tape we chose is important. We chose painter's tape because it doesn't leave a residue like other tapes would on glass. You want to make sure it is holding itself there, but it's also not leaving behind a mark because making it visibly shown that we use tape on this glass would not be a smart decision. So a little bit more about the reason we're doing this is to basically prevent and make sure that if the glass in the event does shatter or crack, it doesn't fall everywhere or doesn't fly off in the move. This tape will hopefully hold any pieces together and maintain its shape to the best of its abilities. The last step we chose in prepping this grandfather clock to be padded and ready to move is to stuff it with paper. This prevents the box with the pendulum inside it and the package chains from moving around and shifting. Now even though there is a low chance that they will scratch the wood or even mark the glass, we want to pr try to prevent that as much as possible so those papers can provide tension to secure the box and the chains within. It is just an extra bit of precaution that will again secure it ready to be padded and packed away in the truck for the move. Lastly, we want to take that key and give it to the owner in an envelope. Make sure they know where it is after locking the door. If that door flies open during the move, it could be catastrophic. But once it's locked, we can go ahead and pad it and pack it into the truck and move the clock.